Back to work here offensively. Trailing Ohio State 9-4 as we approach 16 and a half to play in the first half. And there is another three by Marcus DeBerry. A Horizon League next year, which has the potential to be a little bit more competitive for them. Ryan Patrick, meanwhile, passing it off to Hoba. Hoba not able to get that one to go. Basketball back during his high school days. Washington Jr. penetrating high off the glass. That's no good. But tip back out to Carton for three. That's way off the mark. Wesson, he's able to grab the miss and put it home. First half and... The Buckeyes with only 16, it's a little bit uncharacteristic for them. They've been very high scoring so far this season. How about making something out of nothing that time? But I love the way, even though he didn't make that three, that EJ Liddell takes initiative when he steps on the court. He was out for about a minute on defense. And don't underestimate him. He can get up there and dunk it hard with the rest of them. Three-pointer, knocked down. Dwayne Washington Jr. Story. So the last time the Buckeyes had a 40-point lead in a game, they had one against Stetson. You got to go back to the season opener against this same Purdue Fort Wayne squad. He used to be a Lehigh product before he eventually transferred to the Mastodons. Nice look inside that time as Marcus D. Berry, who got off to a what has been a strong first half on a high note as Liddell is able to poke it away. He's coming the other way. Nice pass on the inside and a beautiful finish by Muhammad. Great ball movement. After this, uh, the first two years, Holtman was not supposed to do all that much with the Buckeyes teams uh, that laid in front of him, but all he did was take him to the NCAA tournament. Jersey, who's actually stepped this game up offensively, at least so far this young season. Five seconds remain on the shot clock, but doesn't matter. Now inside to Wesson. Back out to Muhammad. Inside to Young. Young. Over to Wesson. Wesson for three, and he knocks it down. His name a lot in this upcoming Big Ten season, and he is definitely a contender for Big Ten Player of the Year honors as that one will rattle home for Brian Patrick. Guard out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Originally played his college ball at Kansas State before transferring to Purdue Fort Wayne as another three is knocked down. Works it around the perimeter really well. And he has such a great court vision. He can really see the open man very well. And I think C.J. Walker, after redshirting last year, came into this season so hungry. Walker initiating this Buckeye offense once again in the half court. The drive inside, and he gets it to go. Boom for the depth for Ohio State. Wesson to Wesson. Nice touch pass inside, but Liddell was not able to. Meanwhile, Patrick trying to force a shot up. Does so and knocks it down from three-point range. Spectacular. But a rare defensive stop right there for Purdue Fort Wayne. Meanwhile, the Mastodons back on offense. And blocked by Liddell. Run on the shot clock. Carton and a double team. Passing out of it to Liddell. Liddell inside. Young with the Tomahawk jam. He's getting it in. That one might have hit off the head of Wesson that time, but he's able to stay with it. Carton quickly up the floor, and it rolls down for the freshman. Read it driving in, and he can go up against some defensive players that are much taller than him. Boy, the tough night continues for Jared Godfrey as he's had a tough time getting things falling. Carton, meanwhile, everything's been dropping for that young man. Our shooter for this Purdue-Fort Wayne squad. Muhammad over to Liddell. Liddell slams it home. Oh, my goodness. Benford, meanwhile, has his shot blocked by Diallo. And that's what he brings to the table with that long wind span. He can definitely be effective defensively. Arns for three. Arns will knock it down. For Ohio State. 15 seconds on the shot clock for the Buckeyes. Hummer will let loose a three. Hummer will knock it down. Huggins, Calipari, and Williams. Boy, three legendary coaches in the history of college basketball. Ards knocks it down from the corner. Pari, all he's done is won a national championship and gone to four Final Fours while as the head coach of the University of Kentucky. Ards loads up, knocks it down again. On the right wing, let's lose a jumper. That's tipped up in the air and back in the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey will drive on in and score. And now for Dew Fort Wayne. We'll get the ball back. Floater in the lane is good for Cameron Benford. As the buzzer sounds here at Value City Arena, our final from Columbus, Ohio State, 85, 
Purdue-Fort Wayne, 46.